I'm delighted to be joined by uh, Peach United captain Mark Beavers. Um, well, Mark, obviously it's been uh, quite a while now since we, we had any football and I guess you're itching to get back out there. Yeah, I mean, I am personally and, you know, I spoke to a few of the lads and they're exactly the same. They want to get back on the training pitch and, and you know, do our jobs and uh, get out on the pitch on a Saturday and, uh, and Tuesday night and, uh, and play football because, you know, that, that's what we love doing. Um, so, I mean, uh, we're still in hope that something can get resolved, uh, which will allow us to do that. Yeah, obviously the chairman's been um, to been fighting our corner, fighting the clubs um, as as well to to try and make it a, a fair thing. And in fact, the fairest way of doing it is to finish the season because with nine games left, there's so many permutations that affect so many different clubs. Yeah, I mean, for me, looking at it, you know, watching it all unfold, um, I think it'd be. I don't think it's great that it can get decided by a computer. I think, you know, football, it's, it should be played out for me. Uh, there's nine games left and, you know, I think it, it can be resolved. And, you know, we all, we all do hope it will get resolved as well as players because, you know, to, to be promoted or put in the playoffs by default, it just it doesn't sit right with a lot of people. Um, so, you know, like I said, we're still... We're still uh, hoping that something can get resolved and uh, and that'll allow us to get back out there and and you know play football because we you know our last game against against uh, uh, Pompey uh, you know the the two 0 win uh, we're flying at the minute we're flying um, so going into them final nine games we we were looking good and uh, you know to get it stopped obviously like the unfortunate circumstances like nothing can do it nothing can nothing nobody can do anything about it. Um, but, you know, I think there's been talk about other leagues starting up. Obviously, the Bundesliga has started up um, and obviously the top flight in the UK, they're on about starting up. And, you know, I think it should be the same throughout the EFL because there's so much at stake and, you know, there's teams wanting to stay in leagues and wanting to get promoted and, and uh, you know, hopefully we can get back, back on the pitch and, you know, complete the season properly. Yeah, but particularly for us, given the fact that obviously our home record has been really strong, and the games we have left in the in the season with five at home and four away, and the majority of the teams in in a, in a certain section of the league, you, you'd have fancied yourself not just to get in the playoffs, but potentially to get in the top two. Yeah, of course. I mean, I said you know before we before our final game against Portsmouth um, that we were looking towards the top two, not the not the top six. I think that was a realistic target, and. Uh, that still stands, like you know. I think two points off the top, off the second, off second, I think it is. So you know, a, a couple of wins can get you right back into the uh, the automatic mix. So it's the, a lot of teams will be saying that as well, which is another reason why I think it should be played out. Um, there are teams outside the playoffs that you know have got hopes of going up, um, but you know, more importantly ourselves, we we've got a hell of a chance of going up, and to have that taken away from us by a computer just seemed insane to me. Um, so yeah, I mean, like you say, on paper, you know, we've got games left at home, and our home records been fantastic all season. So, of course, we'd fancy ourselves, whether it be home or away. Um, games won't be that easy. You can't just look at games and think, you know, we're at home, we're going to win, because you know we've had some tough games at home, which we've come out on top on this season. Um, but I've no doubt in my mind that if the games were played out, that you know, would be would be right up there. And just finally, as as, a, as captain of the football club, how hard has it been to keep morale high? Because you, as you say, you've got players that are desperate to play that can't play, and they're just obviously following a, following a schedule up to a certain point. And, and you just, as you say, you want to get out there. So I'd imagine there's there's players that are, are feeling a little, little bit deflated and low at the minute. Yeah, to be fair, you you could say that, but our lads have been fantastic. You know, we've, we've had. Uh, We've had our sessions sent through to us by email, WhatsApp, and you know the lads have been great. The feedback's been been great to to Craig, our fitness coach, and and the manager as well, and and they've been really pleased with the lads. So we need to just do what we what we can do, which is stay as fit as possible, um, you know, ready to go back into football and and uh, you know get points back on the board and hopefully get promoted because that's obviously that's our aim. It was a, it it was the aim at the start of the season and. It, that still remains, um, but the professionalism from the lads has been, you know, it's been top draw, and uh, it still is right up until this point. And uh, hopefully, we can get a decision that goes not just our way, but you know, football's way, and that would be to to play the games out.